Okay, good evening Facebook. The Mystic Witch is back and um, doing her daily cards of the day live. We also have a new um, VIP group schedule in place so that you know um, what events are happening in the Mystic Witch VIP group every day. Um, apologies for being absent. Uh, sometimes life gets in the way of things um, and at the beginning of this year we had two uh, family um, bereavements and so I took some time, much needed time off um, just to have family time and I think it's so important um, to note that when you do have um, sad events in your life like somebody passing or whatever um, it's so important to have that to take time for you to take time to, um, to take time to grieve to take time to uh, you know get in touch with the memories um, of the people who have passed etc um, and more importantly time to heal that is so so important and not everybody does that not everybody takes time to heal a lot of people think that you know work through grief work through the sad things in life or whatever and take your mind off it but sometimes it's better to go through that grieving process because the healing um, is a lot better if you take that time to grieve take that time to reflect um, on those that we we love and those who have we have lost but in truth we never truly lose them they're always around us always watching over us from spirit and they're just a whisper away I always tell people who say how am I gonna cope without them or whatever you know just because you may not be able to um, hear or sense or see them as I do um, doesn't mean to say that they're not there it doesn't mean to say that they're not watching that definitely is not the case they're always watching over us they're always um, with us they share in our joys and they share in our sadness they share in our good health and good days as well as our painful days so it's always um, good to remember that as well. Also, you know, um, it's only when we lose somebody that sometimes we have regrets after it. You know, we ha wish I had more time to tell them how much I feel, wish I had more time to say the things that I wanted to say but never really had the time wish I'd never had that argument um, and you know that argument remains unsolved or you know unhealed the best way to avoid such situations is you know um, heal the arguments take that time every day to let the ones that mean so much to you know how much they're loved so that when that time comes and they're no longer with us there's no regrets they know exactly what you meant to them and what they meant to you and it makes the grieving process so much better I'm so glad um, that I had the time uh, with the ones that I love to let them know just how much they meant to me before they passed so treasure the ones that are still living because life is too short life is too fleeting and they may be here today but tomorrow's never promised you know um, and be thankful for every morning that you open your eyes be thankful for another day because you never know 
whether today may be your last. So always be thankful for every morning that you wake up and you open your beautiful eyes because you know you have another day gifted to you. So many people don't. Um, so I just wanted to share that thought with you. Um, every week <coughs> in the Mystic Witch VIP group uh, on a Saturday evening, we're going to have a topic discussion every um, Saturday. Um, and I hope our members will feel free to come and uh, share that. The card has just jumped out of my pack as I'm shuffling it. So that is going to be the card of the day. The card of the day is the moon cards. Um, so I hope you'll take part in the discussions that we have. Please note some discussions that we may have on the Saturday are sensitive subjects. So I would ask all uh, VIP group members, please do not share um, those live videos out with the VIP group. Please respect that it is sent some of these um, topics are sensitive topics. And you wouldn't like um, anyone to be sharing your sensitive information. Um, the group's here to help all our members. You know, whatever they're going through in life, this is what the group's about. It's about healing. It's about um, being there to having people that we can talk about. So there's various um, activities going to be happening in the VIP group. If you are watching this on the replay um, on my Mystic Witch public page, um, to be able to access all of the um, scheduled daily events, you need to be a VIP member. So how can you be a VIP member? There are three ways to become a VIP member. The first way is to um, purchase any item from the uh, Mystic Witch uh, store. Um, the second one book a full card reading. And the third one is simply by booking a Reiki uh, distant healing session. The beautiful thing about Reiki is it's universal energy. And you, I don't have to be present to send Reiki healing um, to yourselves. Because Reiki is all around us, it's in every living thing. It's in every plant, rock, stone, grain of sand, trees. It's in humans as well as animals. It's a life force healing energy. And because it's all around us, Reiki masters such as myself um, and Reiki uh, practitioners can send channel and send that energy anywhere in the world and that means that you can book a distant healing session at a time and a place that suits you and for example if you've booked an hour session say at seven o'clock on a Saturday night from seven o'clock till eight o'clock on that Saturday night, all you're required to do is simply just sit in silence or lie down and relax in silence and allow the Reiki energy that I send to you throughout that hour to penetrate and do its thing. Reiki energy will go where it's needed and you will feel the um, effects of the Reiki. You might feel happy, sad. You might feel tired, relaxed. You might fall asleep. All these things are natural with Reiki healing. 
You might not even sense or feel anything, but that does not mean the Reiki isn't working. Reiki will work. Reiki will go where it's channeled to go. So if you want more information on Reiki distant healing, please get in touch. I'd be more than happy to explain the whole process. So um, I could talk about all of that, but you need to do one of these seasonings to become a VIP uh, member in my VIP group to be able to take part in the prize draws there, the free readings, etc, etc. If you're not a VIP member, um, you'll not get access to uh, those uh, activities. For all other groups that are linked to the Mystic Witch, you will now see all my groups in the group section of uh, the main page on the Mystic Witch uh, public page. So I'm using the moon cards today for the card of the day. Don't let your past hold you back is the question, is the, um, not the question, the answer to this card. Don't let your past hold you back. How many times do we allow ourselves to do that? We hold grudges, we hold pain, and we hold sadness that belongs in the past. If it's not happening in the here and now, or if it's not happening in today, in the present or the future, it belongs in the past. And that's, you know, it's called past for a reason, because it's been and gone. We can't turn back time. We can never turn back time and make things better. We can learn from the experience, whether it's a good experience or whether it's a bad experience. We can learn from that experience and carry it on forward. For example, maybe we've had an argument in the past and it's made us feel bitter or um, it's made us feel angry or we're filled with regret or whatever the, the situation may be. We can't go back and change that. But what we can do is make sure that we don't make those same mistakes again in the present and in the future. And that, you know, fallouts, arguments are inevitable in life. But the way that I deal with an argument or a fallout is agree to disagree and move on. And if the person that you're arguing with or you've fallen out with, doesn't agree to disagree and can't move on from it and can't let it go, then you let go of the person. It's as simple as that. It's a hard lesson to learn, let me tell you. But it's a lesson that I learned myself after 30 years of abuse. I could have allowed my abusers to carry on abusing me through multimedia, through stalking my pages. But I wouldn't be able to heal from that. So what I eventually did was I cut them all out of my life. I blocked them from all my accounts on social media so that they couldn't stalk. They couldn't have that control over me, my life, or the people in my life. And sometimes I've even had to do that with so-called family. Not easy, especially if it's all your own flesh and blood. But it's self-preservation. It's moving on from the past, not letting them pull you further back into the past but releasing it even if that means releasing them as well remember it's not your responsibility for other people's actions it's not your fault and if they can't accept and respect you for the person you are and let them go. 
if they are taking away your freedom, your free will, if they are putting you down, if they are trying to control, bully, manipulate or abuse you, time to let them go and never have any regrets because that's their responsibility for their own actions. Just as I'm responsible for my actions, I'm responsible for my Nobody else, I don't expect anybody else to take on my actions or my words or whatever. I'm responsible, 1000% responsible for everything that I do and everything that I say and everything that I go through in life. Just as you are responsible for everything that you do, say, and what goes on in your life as well. And if we can lead by example, if we can say, you know what, those that don't like me, that's absolutely fine. They're not meant to be in my tribe. So it's okay to wish them well and carry on. I'd rather do that than have fallouts, right? Not everybody is meant to fit into your box. Not everybody is meant to fit into your tribe. And that's absolutely okay. And even family members. Not all family members will understand you. Not all family members will fit into your box. And that's again, is okay. You have to do what you need to do to be able to be you and to move on into the future and never look back. The past is in the past. Let it go. Release it. Keep it where it belongs in the past and move forward into your present, your future. We all work this walk this earth and we all go in different directions sometimes we walk together with others sometimes we walk it alone there's no right way or wrong way to live your life but you live your life for you not for anyone else and if people don't value you you or your life let them go and carry on being you. I always say to people, I won't change me to make other people happy. I will continue to be me. And, you know, in being me, other people's opinions don't, of me don't matter. I don't need other people's approval to be me. I will carry on being me because being me is who I'm supposed to be. I'm not supposed to be like anyone else. There's only one Lady Moonlight and I'm happy being that one Lady Moonlight. We're all unique. We're all special in our own ways and our own rights. And we're all responsible for each other's, for our own uh, actions and words and thoughts. I've learned through life that if I keep my words, my thoughts and my actions positive, then positive things come from that. But if I keep my words, my thoughts and my actions negative, then negative things come from that also. And if I can pass that wisdom down to you through this card reading, then job done. The whole point of the Mystic Witch is to bring guidance, healing and teachings, the spiritual path. That's what the Mystic Witch is all about. If you're sick, I can heal. If you're grieving, I can be that communication between you and spirit. If you're in pain, I can heal your pain. If you want to live a clean, healthy life, chemical free, 
other products, the natural herbal products to heal mind, spirit and body. Because that's what the Mystic Witch is all about. It's about healing the sick. It's about teaching how to make a better world for ourselves and for the planet. That's what I'm about. That's why I created the Mystic Witch. Because I've always known that my path was to heal, advise and help others. I've known it since the day I was born. And I won't differ from that path. And I won't venture from that path. I guess you could call it destiny, right? We all have um, our unique gifts that were given to us from the day we were born. I may be registered blind and my physical sight may be very poor, but my spiritual sight takes over from that. Would I ever want to have normal vision? Looking back? No. Because chances are if I had normal vision, I wouldn't have my spiritual vision. And it's my spiritual vision, my spiritual knowledge, my past life knowledge, everything I've learned from past life, that is me, that is the Mystic Witch. That's what the Mystic Witch is all about, reaching out to those in need and helping my fellow brother or sister on life's path. And I don't need anybody's approval for that. I don't need anybody's permission for that. I'm well aware of my own um, value. And I don't look back now. I release what I need to release and I move forward. We can't hold back time. We're not looking back, we're going forward. And this is what the message of this card is all around about. It's finding ways to deal with past hurts, past pain, past regrets, in order to let it go, to release it to the past where it belongs, and to move forward in love and light, and in a positive manner. It, I'm glad that I'm back um, doing what I love best and I look forward to joining you tomorrow for another card of the day. If you're in my VIP group um, there will also be a Ruin uh, reading today in the VIP group so do come along uh, and choose a Ruin Stone. The answers to those Ruins will be tomorrow evening. So have a wonderful Tuesday evening everyone and I look forward to um, joining you again tomorrow for another card of the day. Till then, love and bright blessings from the Mystic Witch. Take care everyone.